Mark Stein is a writer, a columnist, and a regular sub for Rush Limbaugh on the radio, and he joins us tonight. Did, how did you, I mean, did you have the same reaction I did, which is, boy, this is, I mean, this is making me uncomfortable. I feel sorry for this person. Uh, well, that, that was my first reaction. My second reaction, Tucker, was to say, if I ever run for president, I want these same Macedonian campaign consultants <laughs> who are the geniuses. Uh, that's, who, that's who the Russians go to when they want to really sew up a presidential campaign. <laughs> That's too good. Have you noticed? You know, we're making fun of Hillary Clinton, and actually, my sympathy for her is sincere because I thought this was deranged what she said today. But yeah. she's not the first. She's the third Democratic presidential candidate in a row to lose and still make the case I didn't actually lose. Kerry made that case. Gore made that case. Do you see a theme here? Well, in fairness, Al Gore and John Kerry uh, lost to uh, conventional candidates. What Donald Trump did was uh, unprecedented. He he never been elected to the school board. Uh, he had uh, no ground game. He spent less money than anybody since Chester Arthur. He uh, veered erratically off message, so sometimes he'd be talking about make America great again, and uh, ten minutes later he'd be going on about how Macy's stock has tanked since they stopped <laughs> carrying Trump ties, and yet somehow <laughs> he manages to beat the most qualified candidate ever to run for the presidency of the, uh, of the United States. And the Democrats and the candidate herself just can't accept that this happened. And in a sense, they're right. If it was a military campaign, they'd be teaching it at staff colleges across the world for the next two centuries. Well, it's I think remarkable. That's a fair point. No, it's, you're making a great point. I mean, this is a pretty conventional defense mechanism, psychological reaction to it. I wish it weren't dragging our foreign policy down along with it, though. No, and I think that's, that's true. I mean, if, if you were Putin, at this stage, let's say that Trump is a Russian agent. Uh, if you were Putin, you'd have to think you'd actually got a twofer. Because right now, Hillary is uh, telling the American people, whatever happens, the uh, Russians are behind it. That's how cunning they are. That's how their, their power is so all-pervasive. Later in that, in that uh, bizarre performance, she starts going on about how Cambridge Analytica, uh, this data mining group, uh, apparently insisted in return for providing Trump with data that he hire Kellyanne Conway and uh, Steve Bannon. So as Hillary sees it, he, Kellyanne Conway is some kind of Soviet honey trap who's at the heart of this, uh, <laughs> of, of, of this campaign. I don't even understand that because uh, Cambridge Analytica, as I understand it, uh, was set up by some British company. So the plot thickens because now we've got double rogue double agents from MI6, probably uh, Kim Philby, if you remember. <laughs> and Anthony here, Blunt. Cold, yes, exactly. cold War Day. I mean, <laughs> but, the, but that's the thing. And, and you, what you have to ask is who's behind the Russians? Well, it's this Cambridge Analytica. So it's the British behind the Russians. But who's behind the British? Well, it's the Macedonians. They're behind everything. <laughs> but what, I guess what's so ludicrous about this is they're blaming the Trump campaign's collusion with Russia. Now, the Russians, whatever their skills, can't build a reliable escalator. I don't no. think they could pull this off. And the Trump campaign was pure message. Yeah, That's yeah. all they had. They had no money. They were disorganized deeply right. in a lot of ways. Right. There's no way. They could have. I mean, if you know anything about how it actually happened, this is insane. Well, the, 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 the fantastic thing about the Trump campaign, uh, I, I, if you forgive me coming the unassimilated foreigner on you, uh, Tucker, but <laughs> presidential <laughs> politics, the conventions had gotten so hopelessly boring. And Hillary ran an utterly conventional campaign. She paid yeah. talentless, mediocre people large sums of money to do the same things they've done for every other candidate. And Trump just comes along, he's bored, stiff by all that, and he says he just does it his way and blows all those stupid conventions out of the water. And the Republicans hated him for doing that, and the Democrats still can't actually believe he did it. Mark Stein, you are single-handedly making me pro-immigration, at least in your case. Thank you for joining More us More Macedonian immigrants, Tucker. That's what we need. They're already here. Oh! Thanks, Mark. Yes.